So I'm here at the Edmonton Comic and Entertainment Expo. I'm here with Ivy Doom Kitty. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? I am awesome. So I just got a few questions. We'll just do, we'll be really quick. Um, is there any advice that you can give any other plus size cosplayers out there starting out? Have fun with cosplay. Have fun. Do it for you. I've actually and thought about doing it myself, but I I don't have the body type to uh, pull it off. But. but but the reality is, do any of us really look like any of the comic book characters? No. Like really? No. You know, a, a real body does not look like a comic book character. Yeah. That's fantasy world, you know? Yeah. So it's one of those things of, are you going to let the opinions of other people affect what you want to do in your life. Are you going to live by what someone else tells you to do or are you going to do it for you? No, I'd rather you know? do it for me, but I don't know, I'm just too shy. No, just do it. Honestly, it, it, it's so much fun. It, it's so liberating when you do your, your first cosplay. And, the, the, you know, the honest truth is that you're surrounded by people that are like-minded. You know, it, it's, you're, it feels like home. You know, people that are going to accept you. The cosplay community is very accepting of others. So, you know, to say that you don't want to cosplay because of, you know, your body type or your skin color, things like that, um, you know, it's just contrary to what many people think. You can do it. You can have fun with it. You can enjoy it. And, you know, just be you at the end of the day. You know, as long as you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself. That's the most important thing. Awesome. And so, since you're an international cosplayer, I'm sure you've been to a lot of different places around the world. What would probably be one of your favorite places you've ever been to? Canada? Did you say Canada? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you must... Did you uh, go to Hawaii? Did yeah, you, I, I yeah. did do Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii's definitely... In, at, it's up there. You did that last week, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Hawaii's I definitely up there. Uh, I did do London last year. Oh, that would be absolutely um, awesome. But unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to actually see the sites. Uh, I saw the convention center and the hotel. <laughs> but it was wonderful. You know, d the people there are really, really nice. Yeah, it I love their experience. accents. Oh, wow. Um, oh. So going to these expos, I'm sure you probably run into a lot of celebrities. Uh, who were you most starstruck to see? Stan Lee? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I uh, actually, I, I, I work with Stan. So. Yeah, no, well, I saw you had the, a, uh, you did a picture drawing of him over there. Oh, yeah, actually, that's from a fan. I'm supposed oh, is to send it? it over to him, yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you drew it. But no, like, we, we work together from time to time, so the first time I met him, yes, I was totally starstruck. Yeah. And I'm, I'm still a fan of his work and everything, but it's one of those things that I maintain my inner fangirl. Yeah. Contain it. Stays <laughs> contained and tied up in there. Um, you know what? Definitely um, Kevin Conroy. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Conroy and Robert Kirkman, without fail, every time I see them, I'm like... <laughs> you drool. Yes, I mean, Kevin Conroy's voice, for crying out loud, is beautiful. And I was lucky enough to uh, sit next to him on a flight, a returning flight home. Yeah. And I'm sitting down, you know, and he's walking, walking, walking. I'm like, and in my head I'm thinking, what would be the odds if he actually ends up being the one that sits next to me? Oh, he's <laughs> next to me in my head. It's like fireworks are going off. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, my idol's sitting next to me. All right, were you cool. trying to talk to him? Calm down. Oh yeah, I was really calm. I was like, hey, you know, you were just at this, you know, this particular show. I was a guest at the show too. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice seeing you. I, I was really like calm about it. My goal was just to get him to talk. Because <laughs> he sounds like Bruce Wayne. Yeah. You know, when he's just his normal voice is Bruce Wayne. Yeah. The other voice is, you know, Batman. So either voice, you know, it was just, oh, it was awesome. But, you know, I respect that man's work, you know. So, yeah, there's there's quite a few different awesome. celebrities I've been able to meet. And, you know, like Sean Gunn's really cool. Michael Rooker's awesome. Yeah. So. You're so lucky to meet They're really kind. Yeah. Uh, so what was the longest it's ever taken you to put on a cosplayer costume? Put on? You mean like yeah. get on in I've the I've heard morning? that, yeah. I've heard that sometimes I've seen people take a few hours to six hours or... My makeup takes about 30... 45 minutes depending on how fast or slow I am because I, I like to do my eye area yeah. really well um, and in terms of whole costume if I have help it'll take me maybe 30 minutes if I'm on my own like an hour hour and a half so if I'm running late in the morning it's usually because I flew in on my own and I've got to get all this stuff on my okay, awesome. so it's a pain now I got to ask because I kind of do entertainment and snack uh, reviews what is your favorite junk food of choice does poutine count? Yes, poutine counts. Did you okay. have poutine when you were here? Not this time around, but I did in uh, Calgary and Toronto last year, yeah, and I did in Montreal and awesome. Ottawa. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'd have to go with poutine. Uh, actually, anything with potatoes. Ooh, beaver tails. Oh, oh I know. I've never even had a beaver tail oh. before. 
I think they, so good. You can go to the Calgary Zoo and they have beaver tails there and you can get anything you want on them, it's but so I good. just, I never did. You gotta do it. All right. It's so good. And also, what is your favorite movie? Oh Lord, uh, Aliens. Aliens. Aliens and also Sunshine. Did you get to meet the Aliens cast at Calgary the other year? Were you there the uh, other year? I met Michael Bean two years ago. I met him and uh, unfortunately I haven't met any of the other cast. Uh, yeah, but I did meet Michael Bean, which is cool. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm definitely... Oh, and Lance Hendrickson. I did meet Lance, Lance I'm Hendrickson. I'm definitely afraid of aliens, so I'm just like, ugh. Oh, that's so good, though. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, and thank I hope you. you enjoy your time here at the Edmonton Expo. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> that's fun.